Hi, I'm Summer Jangula, and for my capstone, I'm deciding to make a sail for a paddleboard. This is me doing some research on what design I want to do and how to start building it. I found some different types of designs of sails I could use, but this is the one that I'm going to try and do. So the first thing I did is I went to Home Depot and tried to get my supplies ready. This is me struggling to try and cut the PVC pipe in half. I didn't record where I got the bag, which I'm going to be using for my sail, but I decided to lay out all my parts and get it ready. Um, I used a plastic bag for the sail because I decided that I want to have it clear so you could see where you're going. I was going to use a tarp, but then I decided that this is a better option. I laid out all the items that I needed to get a better picture of what I'm working with. I then started by sewing. I need to sew the edges to make sure that the small PVC pipes wouldn't move. I also haven't sewed since grade 8, so this is me learning how to thread the bobbin and then put the thread through the machine. I also wanted to practice on something before I started on my sale, so I got this piece of plastic and I tried a few times to see if it would work. This type of plastic that I'm trying it on is very similar to the sale, so I just wanted to make sure that it wouldn't mess it up. I found a piece of wood so that I could draw a straight line so I could sew through that line. I slid the small PVC pipe through it just to make sure it fits and the other side is blank so you have a better idea of what it looks like. The small PVC pipe had to be cut though to the length of the sail, so this is me cutting off the amount I need. Now since I have two small PVC pipes, I just put them up to each other and I measured them accordingly so they would be even. Now I had those all cut, so now I had to measure out where the grommets are going to fit on the sail. Personally, I thought this was the most fun out of it all so far. I liked using the different tools and doing it all myself. I have never used grommets before, so I did have to read the instructions. They were pretty simple once you got the hang of it, but they were a little bit confusing at the beginning because of the different tools. Then I slid the PVC pipe through just so I could close the other side with the other grommets. Again, this is me marking out where the grommets will be on the other side of the sail now. And this is me also putting them in. I didn't like how it was loose in the middle of the sail, so I decided to put silicone in it to hold it down. The silicone will dry clear, but after I just had to put a big piece of wood on it so I could hold it together. And here I did the exact same thing to the other side. It does take a few hours to dry completely, so the wood will be on it for the rest of the video. Now since I'm done the basic part of the sail, now I need to attach the handles. So this is a thicker PVC pipe that I will be using and I'm going to drill little holes into it and attach it to the sail. I will also need to bend it, which I'm doing right now with a hot heating gun, which took a long time to bend. I did get my dad's help in this part because I was trying to bend the PVC pipe when I was getting him to heat it up so it would work better. I did it to both PVC pipes that I measured and cut. It did take a while, but after it, it worked great. I had to compare the PVC pipe bend to see if they were similar, which they ended up being perfect.
Well, almost perfect. This is me lining up little dots in line with the grommets so I could drill holes through it and put the zap straps through the sail and through the PVC pipe for the handles to be held on securely. I did the exact same thing to the other side, but I realized on the first side I did that I drilled the holes the wrong way. So this way I am drilling the holes sideways through the PVC pipe so it would hold attached to the sail a bit better. I then attached all the zap straps to the sail and through the PVC pipe, and this is the final result so far. I still have to let the silicone dry underneath the wood, but all is left to do is try it on the water. I then headed to Historic Stewart Farms is where I'm going to be trying it out. I started setting up the paddleboard, which is a first for me, so I learned how to do that. It was quite hard blowing it all up. This is me trying to figure out how the fin goes on. This is where I was launching off of and where my father was going to help me record from. In order for the sail to catch the wind, I had to paddle up first and then I tried it going downwind. I started on my knees just so I could feel a bit safer and try it out first. I then tried it standing up, which was a little hassle. As you can see, the sail floating around, the wind was kind of pulling it sometimes, so it was a little tricky to grab onto it at first. But then I got the hang of it, I went back onto my knees a bit, and then I just kept trying standing up and knees. See here, now I got it standing up and it's going quite well. There wasn't too much wind out, but there was enough to move me. One thing that I missed that I should have done was check the tide. The tide was very far out as you can see I'm walking literally in the middle of the channel slash river thing and it was quite a hassle getting out there but then once you're in the middle it was all good. This is me just deflating it, trying to pack it up and getting ready to go. So overall for my capstone I learned a lot of things. I learned that next time if I ever would make a sail, I'd make it bigger for the paddleboard. It did catch wind, but I think it didn't catch enough wind. I learned how to inflate the paddleboard and set it all up, so next time I want to go paddleboarding, I can, and I will have no problem with that. I also learned to always check the weather and tides before you go out on the water, because if not, it can go wrong. I learned a bunch of things about like construction and like making projects and what what tools I need to use and what material I need to use. Um, I definitely think using the plastic bag, the garbage bag, was a good idea for the sail because if it was a tarp, I wouldn't see where I was going and I almost hit the ground. So I really think that using a clear plastic bag worked well. Also, when I was making my sail and I said I, how I wanted to make it bigger, the next time I'd also want to use something else to hold it upright because me holding with my arms, it did work but it won't be the best. I think resting it on something would work better because after a while my arms did get sore and especially because the wind was pulling it, it made it a lot heavier as well. So next time I'd make the sail bigger and I'd try and rest it on something or maybe attach to the board somehow. Um, but that's everything. I learned a lot of things and I had a great time doing it. Um, I loved trying it out. And yeah, thank you for listening to my capstone.